Very good morning. What's your name? Sissi Bhavan. Sissi Bhavan, can I have your resume please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Sissi Bhavan, please introduce yourself. Yes, ma'am. My name is Sissi Bhavan. I am from Rastogadari, Andhra Pradesh. I did my graduation at Sivas Engineer College at the Stream of Mechanical Engineering. I am intermediate and uh, my schooling may complete at my school at Tampo. And my hobbies are playing cricket and traveling. And my stems are a hardware food person and make my punch all day. My weakness are I am mean, some lazy person. And my goal is get a good job in a corporate company. And long term goal is actually to good position at that company. That's it. Yeah, okay. And uh, Sesipavan, uh, this is the mock interview. So I would ask you a few questions. Are you willing to answer those questions? Yes. Yes, okay. And uh, you know Ko Java, right? Yes. yes, okay. In Ko Java, explain Java and uh, what about Java architecture also all this you need to explain. Yes, sure. mm -hmm. Java architecture is based on source code and bind code and machine code. Well, first I will explain source code. Source code is a set of instructions and it is written by human readable program. As well as, as, well as plain text. Code. And second one is bind code. Bind code is a program code. It is, it is compiled from source code into low level code as it is designed by software enterprise and the other one is machine code machine code is consisting machine languages instructions only it is a low level language it is developed and it is used and control CPU CPU means central processing unit and its process having to compiler and interpreter compiler is a compiler from low, high level language to low level language as like byte code and another way is interpreter. Interpreter is a consistent machine language instructions only and it is under Java program. That's it. Yeah, okay, good. And before we are doing, uh, we done all programs in C language, right? right? Yes, and why we convert C language to Java? What is the disadvantage in Java? Uh, yes, sorry, uh, C. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. First of all, C is the first program on language. It is developed by Dennis M. Ritchie. And we ask question that is some disadvantage of C language. I will explain. First of all, C would run, exam, would run program. Unnecessary code will be executed at execution in C program. And second one is no code reusable in C program. Once if you use it, then you cannot use it. And third one is C program not provide to security data. These are reasons of will not convert to Java program. Yeah, okay, great. And tell me what is meant by object oriented programming language? If any language is object-oriented programming language, it is following some principles. The principles of abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulation. The example of object-oriented programming language is Java. Java is the follower of all the principles of Yahoo. Okay. And inheritance also one of the two principles, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. What is inheritance? Inheritance is the one of the concept of object-oriented programming system is a groups. Inheritance is one class is acquired all the properties like methods and variables. These two another class is inheritance. Inheritance have some type that is single inheritance and multi level inheritance and the other one the hierarchical and fourth one is hybrid. I will explain in one by one. First of all, single inheritance is one parent class and one child class. And second one is multi level. Multi level inheritance is minimum three classes and one parent class and to be become a child class. And the third one is hierarchical. Hierarchical inheritance is one parent class and more than one child class. And fourth one is hybrid inheritance. It is a combination of one or two more inheritance. And in Java, inheritance concept, in other was in there, that is multiple inheritance. It is not supported in Java because of multiple inheritance is based on an ambiguity situation. Ambiguity situation means multiple inheritance have two parent classes and one child class. Two parent class have same methods. Then child class confusion which method will be called an application. Then it's, the problem is not supported in Java. Then multiple inheritance is not supported in Java. Then the other way to achieve it is multiple inheritance in Java by using interface. That's it. Yeah, good explanation. And tell me what is polymorphism and how many types of polymorphism are there? Yes ma'am. Polymorphism is also concept of good concept. Form of is what operation will be exhibited in different situations in different different behaviors. And I will explain on three one real example. Then this form of 
if one person is going to office, his role is emperor, and he is come to home, he have father, he have parents, he role is son, and he have children, he role is father, he have wife, he role is husband. Here, person is same, but uh, but roles is different, but depends on situation. In this example, in our concept in Java, method will be based on inputs. Different inputs will be exhibited in different outputs. In polymorphism, in types of two types, man. one is static polymorphism, second one is dynamic polymorphism. Static polymorphism, in this polymorphism, done at only compile time. It is the static polymorphism can be achieved in method of overloading. And second one is dynamic polymorphism. Dynamic polymorphism is run at only runtime, madam. Runtime. It is <coughs> underway to achieve the method of overriding. That's it. Yeah, good. And the difference between method of overloading and overriding? Yes, ma'am. First of all, I will explain method of overloading and method of overriding. And after, I will tell differences and the both of them. First of all, method of overloading, yeah. one method will have same method names, and but, but differ in parameters. In, list, in terms of listing parameters and sequence and data types, it is a method of overriding. And method of overriding is <coughs> the functionality of superclass in subclass. That is method of overriding. You know? it, it defines the functionality of superclass in subclass. And uh, coming to difference, in method of overloading, the method of parameters is different. And <coughs> Written value method will be same and different. Same or different. Whereas in method of overriding, the method parameters is same as and written type of methods are also same. That's it. Yeah, okay, good. And always we are calling method, right? And what is method and the types of methods? Yes, mm -hmm. method is a set of instructions, is a different as inside a class. And Performs on uh, this method also, performs on some operations on data. Types of methods will be two types, madam. First one is a method will have any written value, then use written keyword inside a class. Inside a method. Sorry, inside a method. And second one is a method will be have any will have not any written value. You can use wide keyword in a front of method. Thank you. Yeah, okay. And uh, what is an array and uh, how many types of arrays are there now those? Yes, no. First of all, the array is a data structure. It is stored in it, stored in fixed state data and similar kind of data. Yeah, the array is a two types one, static array and dynamic array. Static array, you create an array by giving size, that is static array. And second one, dynamic array. You create an array, you cannot give in size, that is dynamic array. That's it. Okay. And uh, what is constructor and I explain constructor types also. Yes, no. Constructor is a assign values from class variables and it is used to initialize the, initial the objects. And constructor has some rules. The rules have constructor name and class name should be same. And second one is constructor have no written value. And third one is we have never constructor will be called it's executed in automatically. That's the rules of constructor. And types of constructor is also default constructor and the second one is parameterized constructor. Default constructor we have pass. In, you can do not any pass any parameters. The it is default constructor and second one is parameter constructor. We pass parameters in this parameter, in this constructor. That's it. Yeah, okay. And uh, how many types of access modifiers are there? Yes. First of all, the access modifiers are keywords. It is used to control the visibility of field and methods and constructors of a class. Access modifiers are four types that is private and default and public and protected. I will explain uh, one by one. First of all, <coughs> private keyword. Private keyword is an access level of private keyword in inside a class. It cannot be accessed outside a class. And second one is default. The access level of default modifier <coughs> is inside a package. You cannot access outside a package. And third one is protected. The access level of protected modifier is inside a package. The outside package is equal to change class. And fourth one is public. Public modifier is access in every way, inside class and outside class. Inside a package and outside class. Yeah, okay. Good. And uh, what is 
and outside of edge. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what is static keyword? As well, static keyword is mainly used of memory management. It contains variables and methods. And static keyword, static keyword can access only static variables. A non-static keyword is access static keywords variables and non-static variables as well. That's it. Okay. And what is super keyword? Why we are using super keyword? Yes. First of all, super keyword is used to immediate refer to immediate parentless object. By using super keyword, we can access immediate parent class of variable and we call immediate parent class of method and we can we can call immediate parent class of constructor. In parent in parent class we have default constructor, we have not using super keyword, then we have already executed it automatically. We, we parent class we have parameter constructor, we definitely can use super keyword in G then GVM will be executed. Yeah, okay, good. And what is interface? Interface is a same to class, it contains similar to class and contains classes and interfaces. Interface is a use of 100% abstraction in Java. And interface have we declare some variables in inside the interface by default static and final and we declare some methods in inside a interface that is a default by abstract class. That's it. Yeah, okay Sushi Pawan. Okay, it's enough and you gave a great explanation and your confidence is too good and you need to learn more, more technologies. Na? Okay, next time um, learn more things. Okay? okay, yes, thank you so much. Thank you.